The first full trailer for the upcoming horror film, Insidious Chapter 3, has hit the web. This chilling prequel set before the haunting of the Lambert family reveals how gifted psychic Elise Rainier reluctantly agrees to use her ability to contact the dead in order to help a teenage girl who has been targeted by a dangerous supernatural entity. Schnepp, buy or sell the trailer for Insidious Chapter 3. I have to buy it, even though it's sort of like the Insidious is just, it's... It's that Bloomhouse like jump scare thing where you're like, oh God, they looked out, they're looking out that window, and you know <laughs> that the next person, why are they pulling back away? Oh, come on, don't have that dude right up there. And you know what's going to happen, <laughs> but it's all that like half second delay timing stuff, which they've become so good at. They've mastered it. So even though, you know, Insidious 2 is actually kind of fun, it got so crazy bonkers. So I'm hoping that Insidious 3 is even weirder. And they keep bringing back that lady. Yeah. And I always see, I always imagine her from a uh, Kingpin. Remember? <laughs> Frightening, nightmare inducing woman from Kingpin. But she'll always be that lady for me. My little Roy yeah. toy. Oh, come on over here. <laughs> oh, that was great. You're like, you're like, oh my God. Kingpin. I am going to very marginally buy this trailer, actually. You're right. Super visually formulaic, but it, they find a way to make it work, yeah. right? So I got a sense of creepiness from it and whatever, whereas like trailers for like other horror films of its ilk, like Ouija board or something like that, did not work. Mm. This was kind of working for me. I, I don't got a lot of high expectations for Insidious 3, but I got to say the trailer worked for me, got me a little bit more interested in the film, which after all is the purpose of a trailer. So by a little bit, I'm going to buy it. Mark. I'm glad it didn't have any pixels so you guys could actually enjoy <laughs> That's the right. Insidious 3. Boy, the the guy comes over the window and she oh, turns into pixels. pixels I sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it. I, I I love horror movies, and I think that the, the jump scares get a bad name. They're they're very exciting things in films, as long as the entire film doesn't rely on nothing but jump scares. But as far as a trailer getting me excited to go see a movie, yes, I know walking into a horror film, there's a good chance that I could be let down. The Lazarus Effect or something like that. But walking into this, I like the first two Insidious films. What they didn't do is scare me as much as I wanted them to after the fact. I for whatever reason, I like to torture myself, not just be scared <laughs> in the theater. I like to go home and hear something in my apartment and be like oh my god that's the thing from the movie it's going to kill me at 3 a.m i want to feel that way for whatever reason i want to feel that way the first two didn't do that but this one looks like it might be able to a prequel gives me a little bit of pause because hard prequels tend not to work as well as well prequels in general don't always have the best reputation so <laughs> it makes me a little uh, hesitant but i'm still gonna buy the trail i remember uh, ann and i this is years ago obviously we had just got this house and we're living in this house and we went to go see uh what's what's the the king of the horror movies amityville uh no of, of the modern trend paranormal of, uh, activity, paranormal activity of the modern uh, point of view kind of thing mm -hmm. right so we went to go see paranormal activity for the first time this is a testament to for the film is that we came out and was freaked out by it freaked out and the bad thing was i had to leave on a business trip after we saw that movie and so then I got calls from friends. Yeah, yeah. Anne's like calling all of us to come and stay at your house with her right now. <laughs> she says she can't be alone in the house. I'm like, cool, go for it. But you had to go stay in a hotel, which yes, a which lot of times are just as scary. <laughs> well, it depends on which hotel you go to. Yeah. Bring in a black light, you're going to be, then you'll be really scared. Uh, <laughs> depending on the hotel you're in. Different kind of scared. Different type of scared. <laughs> Look but at all these ghosts. <laughs> There's so many ghosts. <laughs> Those aren't ghosts. Yeah. Those aren't, do not Those touch are the pixels. Ghosts. That is not, not exoplasm. That is something very, very Don't different. Don't touch it. He's like rubbing his face. <laughs> ah, ghosts. Yeah. Was Slimer from Ghostbusters? Yeah. There's a lot oh, of slime. No, 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 it wasn't. Bing no. Bong. no, it wasn't. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.